Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make classic taco soup. Taco soup is inspired by the flavors of taco, and there's a reason why this is a classic soup recipe. Everyone loves it. It's super simple to make, and it's super delicious. I call for seven different spices in this recipe to make a little taco seasoning. If you don't want to measure out each individually, you can replace with a one ounce packet of taco seasoning. Get a large pot heating on the stove over medium high heat, and we'll grab one pound of lean ground beef, one diced onion, and head on over to the stove. Using a lean ground beef will prevent there from being too much grease. And you can either use a white or an, a yellow onion for this. We'll break this up and cook it for about seven minutes until the beef is browned and the onions are soft. At that point, if there's any excess liquids or grease, you'll want to drain that off. Then add in about three cloves of minced garlic and we'll saute this for about 60 seconds. Then we'll start adding in all of our taco seasoning spices, starting with one tablespoon of chili powder, two teaspoons of paprika, one teaspoon of ground cumin, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of salt, and last, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And we'll mix this in and let those spices toast for just about 30 seconds while we grab our other ingredients. Then we'll pour in two cups of chicken broth and two cups of beef broth. Nice little mixture there. Then we'll add in two cans of fire roasted diced tomatoes. You want those to be undrained. One can of pinto beans and you'll want to drain and rinse those ones along with one can, one 15 ounce can of black beans. Same thing, drain and rinse. You could actually use whatever kind of beans that you like or leave them out entirely. Last two ingredients, seven ounces of diced green chilies and one cup of either frozen or canned corn. Then we'll stir this all together and bring it to a simmer. Then we'll let this simmer over a low heat for 25 to 30 minutes and then you are ready to eat. You can serve this soup up plain or add some toppings like shredded cheese, sour cream, sliced jalapenos, cilantro, or even some chips. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos, where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.